What's up, YouTube? My name is Kimmy J, and this is Kimmy J TV. In this video, I will be explaining the difference and the perks and the pros of commercial and personal lines insurance. And this is just a disclaimer that this is just about my personal experience dealing with personal lines as well as commercial lines. And as many of you know, I started with State Farm in my insurance career. And if you work for State Farm, or if you've ever dealt with State Farm, you know that they do not insure a lot of people or companies that are high risk. So I didn't get the opportunity to really work in commercial insurance until I launched my own insurance agency this year, Remedy Insurance and Wealth Builders LLC. So I got to really learn about commercial insurance and I instantly fell in love with commercial insurance. Personal lines and commercial insurance all together are very, very lucrative. It's all about getting the numbers. It's a numbers game with PNC. You don't get paid as much commission as you would on life and health products, but the more you build up and you get those renewals, you'll start to build that agency and your numbers. The first thing I love about commercial insurance is the longevity. So a lot of business owners that I insure say that they were with their prior insurance company, if they had insurance on their company, that they were with their prior insurance company for 15 or 20 years and now they're coming to me due to it's being my warm market or they see what I'm doing out here on social media and they want to just support. For commercial insurance, a lot of times the company's not gonna switch insurance that quickly just because it's not easy and at the end of the day they have to pay the bills so with personal lines insurance your car insurance and possibly even your homeowners insurance I've seen clients that let their policies lapse but in order to keep your business running and you are in the, within the guidelines of keeping your business open you have to have that insurance and I've seen people on personal lines leave their current insurer for let's say another insurer for 10 to 20 dollars less a month but in order to move a commercial policy from one insurance company to another it's a lot of paperwork you have to get requoted and show them what type of coverages that you have and a lot of times the business owner doesn't feel the need or even feel like dealing with switching insurance so nine times out of ten the business owners that I have dealt with would just stay where they're at because they don't feel like moving all of their insurance from one to another and commercial is also a lot of moving parts. So you may have your general liability, you may have professional liability, you also may have commercial auto and a commercial liability umbrella policy. So you have all these different policies that are considered your commercial insurance. And that's a really great thing, but it also can be a lot because you may have to write one policy over here with this company, another one over here with that company, and you want to make sure that you're getting all the correct limits and all the correct policies for the client. So commercial insurance can be stressful because you are insuring a business, a corporation, a limited liability company, you're insuring these businesses. So you wanna make sure they're properly insured so if a case does arise or a claim does arise, they are properly protected because if they're not, it's gonna come back and it's gonna bite you in the butt. And that's why we as insurance agents have E&O, errors and omissions or professional liability in case we make an error that we are covered and our policy would pay out for our errors. The one thing I love about personal lines insurance is that it's quicker to write um, from my experience. So for personal lines insurance, I'm asking a few questions and then I get the quote. For commercial insurance, like I said before, it's a lot of moving parts. So it's a lot of different questions you have to ask, especially depending on the carrier that you're putting it through if you're on the independent side. Some carriers just ask two or three questions. Other carriers may ask you five to 10 to 30 questions just to make sure that they're able to insure that client. But for personal lines across the board, no matter what insurance carrier I'm putting them through, it's usually just a few questions and I get that quote just like that. So that is one thing that I definitely do love about personal lines. It's not as many moving parts as commercial lines insurance. When you start to write a lot of commercial line insurance, you're building your network with a lot of business owners. And business owners 
tend to hang out with other business owners. So they may say, hey, you know, I have a great agent. His name is Kenny. He saved me thousands of dollars on my insurance premium for my company. Give him a call and see if he can save me some money as well. And that just trickles down and it keeps going to different business owners as well as every business owner also needs personal lines insurance. So if you're an agent that's doing commercial and personal lines insurance, this is your time to shine because once you insure their business and you're showing them that you are properly insuring them as well as saving them a ton of money, now you go in and say, hey, I also do personal lines insurance. I would love to be able to quote your home and your auto and any other type of policy that you have and save them money on that end too. So you're basically killing two birds with one stone. You're able to get some commercial policies as well as personal lines policies all from the same person. And I always tell my clients, it's best to have all of your policies with one place, with one agent. I'm able to handle everything and you just call one person. You don't have to call the 1-800 number. You don't have to figure out which policy is where. It's all under the umbrella of my agency and I'm able to service all of those policies. So with personalized insurance as well, I see more on the auto side. It's not a lot of exclusions, if you will. Um, on homeowner's insurance, there are quite a few exclusions, but when you go to the commercial side of things, it's a ton of exclusions. Your client may ask, what does this mean or what does that mean? So when you're writing commercial insurance, you want to be very, very knowledgeable about what is included and what is not included in that policy because some people, I see a lot with engineers, I see a lot with lawyers and doctors as well. They like to look over the contract with a thin needle, is that the saying, a thin needle? And they like to ask questions about certain things because they want to know what they're paying for and making sure that their business is protected correctly. So you don't wanna ever get a question and be like, well, I don't know what that actually includes. Like you're the agent, you're the professional, they're trusting you to properly insure their company. All in all, if I had to choose between being a commercial insurance agent and a personal lines insurance agent, I would choose commercial every time. I love the complexity of commercial lines insurance and I don't hear a lot from those clients. So I hear from them when I write the policy and then I'll give them a call when their renewal is due. So hey, your policy is about to renew and kind of go over a few things with them. On the personal lines, if one of my clients, for car insurance for example, one of my clients is getting a new car, they're calling to switch out that car or if they get in that accident, they're calling you to say who do I call for this or let's say they even are adding on a driver or their child is starting to drive, you have to add that on. So it's constantly maintenance for auto insurance and homeowners insurance isn't that bad but they may move or they may add on a shed in the back and want to add coverage to that or they might want to just add on higher coverages because of the value of the home has went up or what have you. So commercial insurance is not much maintenance and it's very 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 lucrative and they stay with you for the long run. I love having a network of business owners. Uh, I learn a lot from them. They learn a lot from me and just being able to ensure them and educate them on what their policy covers is honestly amazing. So commercial insurance wins uh, for me every time. I do love writing personal lines insurance as well, but I would say my top to bottom would be life insurance, commercial insurance, and then it would be the personal lines under that. And those are my rankings for the different insurance lines that I write. If you have any questions about commercial insurance, drop them in the comments below. Want to definitely hear from some commercial agents and see how has your experience been writing for different business owners and different businesses? How are you marketing yourself as a commercial agent? We'd we'll love to hear feedback and, and learn from you guys as well. If you want to hop on a consulting call or a coaching call, the link is in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell for my latest notification. We're dropping a video every week. Also, March 31st of 2021, I'm doing my first official live stream on YouTube where I'm just talking with the different uh, insurance agents on my channel, my different subscribers, and answering any questions that they have, I love to be transparent with my subscribers and be honest because a lot of times it's hard to get those real and honest answers and that's why I'm here. So tune into that and if this is after March 31st and you are interested in looking at that live stream, it will be on my page. Again, my name is Kenny J. 
the insurance guru, and this is Kenny JTV.